There's this classic movie called Singing in the Rain. It has one of the great musical dance numbers of all time in it. There's a scene where the protagonist, played by the really cool Gene Kelly, he's singing and dancing in the rain, hence the title. He loses himself in the moment, and when he loses himself in the moment, a police officer comes around the corner and is watching him do his song and dance number out in the street dancing in the rain. And the cop is just watching him, kind of looking at him and not really doing anything. And eventually Gene Kelly realizes that the whole time he's been kind of finishing up this song and dance number out in public, this police officer has been watching him. Immediately stops dancing, stops singing, and he kind of like sheepishly starts to make his way home because he's embarrassed. He's been caught by this police officer and he was singing and dancing in the rain when the police officer caught him. He was on his own doing something that you normally do with other people. That's how vlogging feels for me. Gene Kelly is essentially my spirit animal when I put this camera in front of my face in public. Apropos of musicals, I actually just came back from watching one. At least I think it was a musical. It was like a biopic. It was the Elton John biography movie called Rocket Man. I really liked it. It was brilliantly done. And the main actor in it was amazing. He really deserves like an Oscar nomination for his portrayal of Elton John in that movie. Everybody's running around talking about Bohemian Rhapsody. Rocket Man was a way better movie. I actually have a topic today and nothing that I've talked about so far has anything to do with that topic. And I'm finding that more and more frustrating as I do this vlog. Just stay on topic. When I come out and start talking to the camera, I drift off on all these tangents. And in my mind, as I'm talking to you about the topic at hand, I feel like when I drift off into one of those tangents that what I'm actually doing is providing sort of supporting evidence for whatever my thesis may be in the vlog. No, that's not what's happening. Basically, I'm babbling. I actually start talking about another topic that could be its own standalone vlog. It doesn't do anything to enhance the vlog that I'm trying to do. When you do a vlog and you have an idea that you want to explore in the vlog, that's perfect, that's great. As I start to loosen up and I'm talking to the camera and I'm feeling more comfortable in my environment and my surroundings, well, I end up just talking about all sorts of things that I think are loosely connected to the topic. They're not though. Back to the editing suite I go and I try to reorganize the video so that it actually comes across as a coherent topic instead of an idea with me bouncing all over the place trying to come up with a bunch of stuff that doesn't have anything to do with the main topic. And I find that that's loosely connected to another thing. The second part is, apropos again of musicals, is choosing music for the vlog. I tried to put music in yesterday's vlog. It was terrible. It actually, upon watching it back, made me cringe. I shouldn't add music to a vlog. Maybe I just need to tighten up the editing so I don't feel the need to put music in it. And that's kind of how it ties together with the idea of staying on topic. Staying on topic is important. Using things like time lapses and music or any other special effects to kind of hide deficits in the storytelling. And in this case, I would see a deficit as being not being able to stay on topic. Using all those things to try to make the vlog better actually made it worse. What would have made the vlog better is me just staying on topic. Other people can make it work. I can't. I don't have the editing skills, the filmmaking skills. Quite honestly, when the camera's on, I just don't have the discipline. Going forward, I need to really focus on just staying on topic. Oh, and not adding music. Oh my God, that was terrible.